Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install World Edit for Minecraft 1.16 single player. We're going to be going over every single step of getting World Edit in single player, even going down to like how to get the correct version of Fabric, which Forge is not currently available, but Fabric is for Minecraft 1.16, and that is what World Edit is using to run in single player. So we're going to be going over it all in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have most of our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS fixed server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're in for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex at the first link down below. Again, that's the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting World Edit for Minecraft single player. The first thing you want to do is obviously download World Edit. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for installing World Edit. However, all you want to do is click on this green download world edit button. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the world edit mod page here where we want to make sure we're downloading the 1.16 version. To do that, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. There it is, Minecraft 1.16. And then under that, you will have world edit. Now you want to hover over this purple link. See that where it says it's purple there? Hover over that and make sure it says fabric for MC 1.16. It might not say dot one at the end, but fabric for MC. It should say that. If it does, click on the the purple download button. If it doesn't, go to the next version down. Hover over that one and then whenever you see fabric, go ahead and click that purple download button to the right of it. It will then take us off and the download will begin in just a few seconds. It is going to download in the bottom left down here. Now obviously you will need to keep this file on Google Chrome in the bottom left. It's 100% safe. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll ask you to save it in the center of your screen. We're not done downloading just yet though. We still need to download Fabric. This is the third link in the description down below. And when you click here, click that, it's going to take you here. This is the Fabric Mod Loader. It's like Forge, but it's a lot lighter and more up to date currently than Forge is. So once we're here, we want to go ahead and click on the Download Installer Universe slash dot jar here. When you click on that, it will immediately download in the bottom left, where again, we'll need to keep the file. However, if you are on Mozilla Firefox, it will open up in the center of your screen and you are good to save the file there. Now there is one more thing that we need to download and that is the Fabric API, right? So this is, I believe at this point, we're at the fourth link down below. Anyway, it's the Fabric API in the description down below. It's pretty clearly labeled. When you're here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16 there. And then when you do, go ahead and click the purple download button on the version closest to the top here. So go ahead and click on that purple download button, and it will download in the bottom, or sorry, it will take us off to a page where it will then download again in the bottom left, right? So at this point, we have downloaded World Edit, we have downloaded the Fabric Mod Loader, and we have downloaded the Fabric API once we click Keep in the bottom left. You'll want to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on my desktop, I have World Edit, I have the Fabric Installer, and I have the Fabric API. We also have these unconfirmed files. You most likely won't have those. I'm just going to drag them to the side, just basically saying that it's still kind of downloading these files here, but that'll disappear here in a second. Now, these aren't on your desktop. No worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find your downloads folder, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. Click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, right like so, and then go ahead and type in downloads. And then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and it will open up this. Then take World Edit, Fabric, and the Fabric API from your downloads folder and drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. To get started, we're going to start off with actually the Fabric Installer here, right? So make sure it's the Fabric Installer and not the Fabric API. If it's the Fabric API, it won't work. You are looking for the Fabric Installer. Now for most people, you'll be able to right click, click on Open With. You'll have Java of some sort here and then you'll be able to click OK. That'll then go ahead and open up the installer right like so. However, what if you don't have that? If you right click and click on open with, what if you don't have Java? Or what if it doesn't even look like this? What if the files don't look like these Java coffee cups? They look like RAR files or they look like zip files or something like that. What do you do? Well, we've got a solution and that solution is this. This is our in-depth tutorial for downloading and installing Java for Minecraft mods. World Edit being a Minecraft mod, you need this version of Java. So go to the description down below, download Java, and then you'll be able to open up the fabric installer and thus get world edit installed however if you do install this and it's still not working it still looks like a winrar file it still looks like a zip folder something like that then you need to run the jar fix and what this is going to do is make all the jar files in your computer work with java once again basically linking them together so that is what you need to do first and foremost install java you're going to have to do that no matter what if you're having issues and then after that run the jar fix if you're still having issues after you install java Finally though, again, we can right click on the fabric installer that we downloaded, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. That's then gonna open up the fabric installer right like so, where we wanna make sure that we have 1.16.1 selected here. 
right? So in this case, we're installing it in 1.16.1, so we wanna make sure that's selected. You can leave everything else the same and just click on install. It'll then go ahead and say done, and then it will pop up and say fabric loader, 1.16.1 has been successfully installed. Many mods also require the Fabric API. Exactly, they do. That's why we have the Fabric API downloaded as well. So we can go ahead and close out of the Fabric installer and delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Now we should only have World Edit and the Fabric API on our desktop. Let's go ahead and get these installed. To do that, click the little Windows icon. Again, it's in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. So click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. That's gonna open up this. This time though, we wanna type in run, are you in? You'll have this run desktop app here. Go ahead and open that run app. And in open here, what you wanna do is type in percent app data percent. So in that little text box, just type percent app data percent and hit okay. That's then gonna open up the roaming folder here. And in the roaming folder, you're gonna have a .minecraft folder. See that .minecraft folder there? Go ahead and open up that. And then in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, guess what? I don't have a mods folder either. There's no mods folder in here. No worries, just right click, create a new folder, and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. So we've got a mods folder now added in. So once you've got this mods folder, go ahead and double click on it, and then take world edit, and Fabric API and drag them into the mods folder. Again, at this point, we wanna make sure that it says world edit dash fabric. If it says dash forge, it won't work. It needs to say world edit dash fabric here in order to work. So now we've got these dragged and dropped into our mods folder. It's time to make sure they're working in game. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you slam play, right before you go ahead and slam play, make sure it says fabric loader down here. Now in our case, it says fabric loader 1.16.1. We're good to go. We could hit play and it would work. But if it doesn't, let's say it said latest release, for example, we could go ahead and click on this drop down arrow and then select fabric loader. However, what if you click the drop down arrow and fabric loader is in here? Well, no worries, we have a solution. Just click on the installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. When you do that, go ahead and click the plus new button and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft server. We have two amazing Greed Protected Survival servers, Medieval Survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy and Aquatic Survival with an awesome slash shop based economy. We have custom amazing factions that is updating very, very soon. Season two of factions is about to start. So go check that out and get in and get ready before season two of factions starts. And then we do have amazing skyblock which has the biggest update it's ever seen coming very very soon so come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com you will absolutely love it now for the version we want to click on this version drop down menu here and then we want to find a release fabric dash loader so as you can see we have release fabric dash loader here for me it's right up at the top you may need to scroll down some to find it but nevertheless just click release fabric dash loader right like so and then you're good to go i'm also going to change my resolution you don't have to do that i'm just changing it so it'll look better because we're making a video here but nevertheless let's go ahead and once you've selected a release fabric loader there you've got your name set we can click create in the bottom right now you'll have this new profile in our case play.breakdowncraft.com under it it will say fabric dash loader and it'll say 1.16.1 at the end if it does, hover over it, it'll make this green play button appear. Click on that green play button, and now Minecraft will open up. Minecraft 1.16.1 specifically will open up with the fabric mod loader and most importantly, world edit installed in it. So as normal with 1.16, I've noticed it takes a long time to open up. That's the case here. So if it's taking a long time to world open up, don't freak out about it. It's, it's opening and there it is, right? So now you might be like, how do I know that world edit's installed? Unfortunately with fabric, there's no real way of knowing until you're in game. So we just have to kind of sit here and wait. You know, you're not gonna see anything on the loading screen or anything. And even on the main menu, you're not really gonna see much of any indication that you're playing with World Edit, right? So if we open up here, we'll be able to see that it is modded in the bottom left. So that means Fabric is working, but that doesn't mean World Edit's working. So let's jump into single player. I'm gonna have to jump into this and it'll convert this world and we'll be good to go. But nevertheless, we're gonna jump into this here and then we'll be able to make sure World Edit is working. Now, for some people, World Edit won't work in single player and I'll show you how to fix that. So we go in here and we do slash slash wand. That'll give us the World Edit wand here. Right, boom, there we go, it's just a wooden ax. Now if we click here, for example, and then come up here and click here, we can do something crazy like slash slash set diamond block. And there we go, so that is world edit. I think there's no denying world edit is working. However, if you try to use a command, slash slash wand, for example, or any of the world edit commands, we do have world edit tutorials that you can check out. This isn't this video though, we're not teaching you how to use world edit, we're teaching you how to install world edit. But nevertheless, let's say for whatever you do slash slash wand, it doesn't work, it gives you an error. Why would it do that? Well, that's because you don't have commands enabled on your single player world. And there's no way to enable commands on a single player world after it's created, unless you hit escape, 
click open to land and then when you're here you want to click on allow cheats right so i said commands i guess i meant cheats but you want to click on allow cheats there then click start land world suddenly you'll be able to do things like slash slash one to get a world edit one you'll be able to do things slash slash up 20 for example and it's going to put us oh is that is that, is that, is that going to work is that going to work yeah see, apparently that doesn't work in single player world edit just on servers but we can do something like slash slash cut and that's going to remove all of those blocks over there that we added. As you can see, those are all gone. We can change all of the stone here, for example. If we do this, we can come down here and change all of the stone by slash slash replace stone with gold block. Boom, and that's gonna change all of that stone to gold block, it's not gonna add anything else in. We can actually though do something like replace air as well. So we could do replace the air with um, lava. Let's see if it'll do, it'll do that. There we go. Right? Boom. However, that's going to be super laggy, so let's undo it. But yeah, so World Edit is now installed in single player. Simple stuff like that. Pretty much all your commands in World Edit are going to be based off of slash slash wand, or they're going to be based off of, you know, slash slash position one. So slash slash POS one. And then we can go over here, for example, and do slash slash POS two. So position one and two are now set. And that's basically how World Edit does. It works between position one and position two, and what do you want to do in that? There's also brushes. For example, you could do slash slash brush, and then we can do something like cylinder. I always like the cylinder brushes. You can do whatever you want. We're gonna do, I guess, acacia log, and then hit enter. And so now we can right click and it will place all these brushes, these cylindrical brushes. And this is how you might see like big bridge pathways or something like that on the server. A lot of times those aren't manually placed. Those are placed with, uh, with, with world edit like so. so. There we go. Awesome stuff there. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. World Edit is a super awesome, super duper fun plugin uh, and mod that we recommend wholeheartedly. Like if you are playing Minecraft, you love building, World Edit is one of those things that you really need to learn because it's going to take your building to an entirely different level. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, we have incredible grief-protected survival servers, medieval survival with 30 custom quests, and a player-based economy, and aquatic survival with a slash shop-based economy. Skyblock is incredible with Finch generators, OP enchantments, and just a ton of fun. You will absolutely love it. And then Faction Season 2 is coming very, very soon with many community updates. It's got an amazing economy. We've got so many fun stuff. It's going to be focused on smaller factions that are just a ton of fun. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.